Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So Hi. today I have, <laughs> that's William in the background. Today I have a bit of a weaning haul, if you will. Now, a bit of background. Obviously, Daisy was born with a cleft palate and Pierre Rabanne sequins. So, if you want to know more about that, I will leave a few links down below so you can sort of get yourself acquainted if you want to. But, um, she has a nasogastric tube at the moment which goes down her nodes and basically is where she gets, I would say, about... 60% of her feeds um, because she is not currently able to take the full amount via a bottle. Now, upon recommendation of our specialist cleft nurse, um, Daisy, Daisy, Daisy will be wheezing. So, on recommendation of our specialist cleft nurse, Daisy will be weaning early at four months old. Um, now, just to let you know, with Bill, I waited until six months. We did baby led weaning. That was what I followed as a first time mum, that's what I wanted to do. He took really well to it. So I had to sort of bend my expectations a little bit with Daisy and the whole idea of why she'll be doing this is because we don't want her to develop um, what is called as oral aversion which is where she gets so used to being fed by a tube and that's really normal for her that she doesn't understand that actually um, you eat through your mouth and you enjoy that and you taste loads of different flavours and you really enjoy your meals. She doesn't really know hunger at the moment in the strict sense because she's fed very routinely every four hours a certain amount and she doesn't sort of give us those cues. And at the same time, um, babies that are fed either via um, a nasogastric tube or a gastronomy like a peg through their stomach, um, they tend to sometimes develop like a a disliking of the sensation of swallowing and drinking particularly liquids. Um, so we're starting her early and it's not that we're packing her with loads of food while she is still um, too young in some people's opinion. It's more to get her used to different flavours, get her to enjoy the sensation of swallowing and eating and that in turn should help boost her um, working with the bottle basically and boost the amount that she takes through a bottle. Um, she also needs to be rid of her uh, nasogastric tube by the time she has her cleft repair uh, which will be very early on next year. So this is all with her in mind, it's not you know us wanting to wean too early or anything like that and what I will say is that I'm one of those parents that is fully in support of the parents decisions so if you choose to wean your child um, at four months or five months or just before six months or you wait until seven months, good on you for making that decision and knowing what you think is best for your baby. That's all I'm going to say in the matter but um, I'm going to get into a few bits that I've got to uh, get us ready for weaning and um, I don't know where to start. In fact, what I'm going to start with is storage. Because um, obviously we're doing puree, it's really useful to sort of be able to sort of make big batches. And she's obviously not going to get through all that straight away. So we can freeze them. Now, I've got a few options here to show you that I just thought I would like share. So you can either keep them in the fridge or like pop them in the freezer. One are ice cube trays like this with lids. So I got these from Amazon. I will leave a link down below if I can find these. If not, I will find similar ones for you. But it has a lid and you can either fill it up with water here or liquids or you can spoon loads of little individual portions and that will be perfect that's all she needs really to begin with a couple of spoonfuls of that so I've got a couple of these and I've had these for a while anyway because I use them for ice cubes but you can use things like this and they are relatively cheap I've just been to Tesco actually and I found this weaning freezer tray and what's really nice with these is that they have um they go up to two ounces um and they're marked with two ounces or 50 milliliters I don't know if you can see slightly on there you might be able to see the little writing along the sides and they've got little loads and they've got a little stand that they go in as well in the freezer so I thought that would just be really really handy and um, I'm looking forward to using those and then from four months plus as well and then one thing that was actually sent a while ago a long time ago actually when I was still pregnant um, are these from Joseph and Joseph and they are dials and um, that's the name of the product and I will show you what there is inside so basically in the pack that I've got you've got two of these and this is what they look like and they have um, a lid on 
which keeps everything together. Ooh. And then inside, you've got little one ounce or 30 ml pots. So there's nine in there. Look at how cute these are. Look at that. So not only are these really handy because you can take them out and about and they're nicely sealed, but you can store them all inside this bad boy in your fridge or even your freezer. And the cool thing about it is that on the front there's a little dial and you can see that the numbers are changing as I move it. Now what you can do here is put the date um, when you made them or if you know roughly when they go off put the date of when you think they'll go off and I just think these are so clever for weaning like you can keep things in the fridge know when you made it not think oh rubbish when was that when when did I do the carrot I can't remember mm, should I chuck it and you know what it's like with a baby you always want to be on the safe side so I just think these are brilliant and they've got the little small ones and then this one for when she's a little bit bigger and I want to go out and about with a few meals maybe we have a three ounce 90 mil one and four of those in there um i'm really excited to use these i think they're really quite cool and i love like the mint green shade just aesthetically pleasing but yeah they're really cool now next thing i will go on to two bibs that i've got and the first one Here's the Tommy Tippy Roll and Go bib. It rolls up for travel, so you can see from the little photo here that you can roll it into itself like that. Um, Bill had this aqua coloured one, and I picked up a pink one for Daisy. Um, I used it last time, found it really useful, because um, it does catch things well, and it's white clean, and it was quite cheap actually. I think I got it from like my local Waitrose, and I want to say it was about £3. So I had that, and that would be really useful, just because I used it last time, and you know when you enjoy something, why not? get it again and then this time I got these from Kidley online and these are the Brother Max catch and fold baby bibs and they're two waterproof lined cotton bibs with a flexible removable crumb catcher and it doubles as a travel case for bib and cutlery so you basically have two waterproof bib bits here I imagine these are going to get filthy very quickly that's my only downside with these if they stain they're never going to look great and then what you can see is that underneath each bib there's little poppers and then they pop onto this case and then this case also pops shut so you can ro roll a bib up stick it in there grab some cutlery take that with you you've got your pot of food ready to go and then it's all sort of compact and then when it's all manky and dirty if you're out and about you can just roll it all up and keep it in there and you don't have to worry about it getting all over your changing bag so they look really cool um i'm quite happy that i got these i'm quite excited to use them um i'll let you know how i get on then while I was at Tesco I also picked up these Munchkin soft tip infant spoons because they are nice and soft on babies when you know they they're quite gummy and they're getting used to using a spoon you don't want them to like jab themselves in the face or anything these are from four months plus I just love the rainbow design I think they're really cute and they won a mother and baby gold award for the best feeding product for weaning so I had to pick those up didn't I and I think they were about the three pound mark which for six is not too bad really and then I also, this is from Aldi and I picked this up and I swear it was only about £3 again and it's this massive weaning set from Newbie. Now the little bag is giving you a lot of glare so I'll open it up and show you what's inside. Right, so I've opened all this up and this is what is inside and I think this is so cool, it's dead handy. So we've got two um plates separated divided plates for when she's a bit bigger so there's a green one and a yellow one i think these are really cool um to sort of like separate food out let babies and toddlers sort of experience new things differently and keep them all separated which is really useful and then as well as those there's just two basic bowls so we've got an orange one and a blue one and then there is another set of spoons, but these are harder ones. So I might wait until she's a little bit older to use these, but they have a nice like curved um, handle. So they should be quite easy to spoon into her mouth. Um, they're really handy. They're so handy. Bill could still use these now, like with yogurts and stuff. 
and then there's a range of other things in here um really simple stuff and i might not use them they might not work very well but they're handy to begin with daisy can't actually suck so anything that is tip you know the kind of beakers that we all hate where they actually do spill those are the kind of beakers that are going to work really well for daisy until she has a palette repair so there's two here that do that and we've got an orange one and a blue one not great for travel and these will probably be just for when we're weaning at home but still they're really useful to have then we've got two little storage tubs a pink one a blue one taking snacks out and purees and things like that and then we have these which are really unusual but they're like little cups there's a green one and a pink one with like a straw oh there's another straw here as well yeah, so there's a straw in these. So I guess these are one a little bit bigger. These will actually be really useful for when Daisy's had a palette repair and we're sort of teaching her how to suck. Then finally, I'm actually working with Ella's Kitchen over on their YouTube channel with Daisy's weaning journey. So make sure you subscribe to them if you're not already. I'm not paid to be doing this video, by the way. Um, but I thought I would just include a few bits that they have sent me. Um, and the first thing is um, the first foods book and this has got a pull out weaning planner inside and it's got 130 yummy recipes from weaning to the big table and i absolutely love this like i really didn't know whether or not i would like go for puree when i was pregnant obviously i didn't know that daisy was gonna um have a cloth palette and i thought i would do baby lead again but what i like about this is that there's loads of like puree um recipes there's like store cupboard superheroes so like pasta and rice and couscous and eggs and dried fruit and things like that and um, keeping things safe how to steam like things that will be really useful so like a sieve hand blender things like that so i'm like leaning way out the camera um and then it gives you tips on like first tastes, like when to do it, when's right for your baby, allergy essentials, like a little weaning planner of like what to do and when and some ideas of things to try. And then as it progresses, it goes into like purees, like with different age ranges for six months plus. Um, it has like bigger recipes, like with chicken and apricot casserole and things like that and i just think this is a really useful book and i'm really excited to use it like you know when she gets a little bit bigger i don't know why i'm just really giddy because like every step that daisy takes while i'm like oh don't grow up i'm like at the same time this is really positive because the older she gets and the more she's able to eat properly and things like that like the easier her life's going to be so it makes me excited and i've also got some purees as well which i will show you quickly now which ones we've got to try so probably one of the first tastes that Daisy's going to have will be some of these baby rices. So there's either carrot multigrain baby rice or banana multigrain baby rice. They're both organic. You can see what they look like. Like under there it's just sort of like a really sort of fine floury consistency. And they're resealable so that's really useful for like you know breakfasts and things like that. Then we have um, a big range of sort of meal purees here. So there's like carrot, apple and parsnip, banana and apple banana and coconut, spinach, apple and swede, mango, pear and papaya, carrot, peas and pears, sweet potato, broccoli and carrots, and then broccoli, pears and peas. And then these are all little first taste ones which I'm really excited to use. So they're parsnip, parsnip, parsnips, two of those, uh, carrots, 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 two of those, peas, 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 two of those, and sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, two of those. And then over here, there are these little um, screw up um, yogurts for babies. So we've got uh, mango yummy yogurt and they're Greek style. Then there's the strawberry version and the berry version. And they're from six months and all the rest are from four. So I'm really excited. Another really handy thing about these is that if you don't use them up all in one go, then they keep in the fridge for 48 hours, which will be really useful in the beginning while Daisy's so little because she's not going to be eating much at all. But I would probably um, try and hold on to these until she's like, like established like eating more than a couple of mouthfuls because I don't want to waste them I'm really excited to use them I could eat this one myself that sounds amazing but yeah I hope that helped and gave you a little bit of inspiration if you are about to start weaning soon I picked up bits from all over the place so if it's like Tesco Waitrose online things like that so you can get bits everywhere but those are just things that I'm going to start with to begin um and then we'll go from there. If I do do any updates or get any other products that I really like, then I'll make sure that I include them in a baby favourites video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.